hey, this is Myron Friesen from the cab. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about tax time, or at least it comes up at tax time, and I was thinking about it, is when I first started doing farm estate planning, I would always, of course, do a fact finder, still do. And one of the things that I would observe is that some people would have just 100% of their assets tied up in the farm. It was machinery, grain, livestock, and their checking account was pretty minimal because that's all tied up in the farm and their cash actually was their grain. And then I started observing some farm families would have some savings or some investments or an IRA or something like that. And I kind of observed that in a lot of situations, they were just a little bit more comfortable knowing that they had a little bit of a reserve and they had a little bit of money outside of the farm. This also sometimes became helpful when they wanted to transition the farm because maybe 100% of their income when they retired did not have to come from the farm. They had a little bit of reserve that was saved up. And so maybe that's something you want to think about. I completely get that the farm is your 401k. Heck, it's my 401k. But I also like to have a little bit of money saved up on the side outside the farm. And you don't have to save a lot. Sometimes it's five or $10,000 a year would might, might be what you need to kind of just get you over the hump so that maybe when you retire, you got a little bit of money saved outside of the farm so that you don't have to pull that extra money from the farm. And so it's hard to set aside money in chunks, but doing it a little bit of a time each year might be a good strategy for you.